This really works if you want to make a guy fall in love with you. A lot of women, when they like a guy, they get all stiff, they get all stale. You're going to do the opposite. Literally, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this. He turns to me and says, that's the coolest thing I think I've ever seen you do. And imagine my surprise. What's really magnetic about it. That's easy. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine with Manifest Fast with Jasmine and I'm going to tell you in this video how to make the man that you want fall in love just by being yourself. This is super simple and I'm going to draw on experience and give you guys examples. Make sure that you watch all the way till the end because I'm going to be talking about this action wise. I'm also going to be talking about the energy behind the action. I'm also going to talk about what's happening psychologically as a result of this and I'm going to tell you what not to do. So stay tuned till the end. To be yourself more and to attract the man that you want at the same time with much more magnetism. But first, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, especially all of you who've been watching my videos or really loving my videos. Some of you just forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff. Make sure that you click the bell and hit all to receive all notifications. I also have a brand new group that I want you guys to join. The new group is a coaching group. We have live coaching sessions via Zoom. We have seminars, we have courses. The coolest thing that we have going on right now is I'm actually going to do a live seminar on exactly how I manifested my specific person back into my life, A through Z, everything that I did. I'm gonna lay it out for you step by step and how I got the results that I wanted and what were the results that I wanted. I'm gonna share my success story with you and that's gonna be only inside the group. So if you're interested in that, you wanna know about that, that link is gonna be below. Join the group and that's coming up pretty soon so don't miss it. I have a couple examples here of how me just being myself really 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 is like the thing or was the thing or majorly part of the thing that really won a guy over and I mean for keeps. These stories are going to be pretty ridiculous to you guys and you're going to wonder how did these, how was what I'm about to tell you, how is that the thing that made him know that he really wanted to be with her and that made him like her more and fall in love with her? What? But I'm going to explain this. So think energetically speaking, when you feel comfortable and secure enough just to be yourself, just to channel yourself and just to be your happy go lucky, whatever natural self, all bets are off. It's like, you know, this is what I am, baby. People like that. Why? Because you're not trying to impress them. And energetically, think about the energy behind that action. When you can just be unapologetically who you are, the energy behind the action is you feel secure. And then law of attraction, when you feel secure, what do you get? More feeling secure. When you feel comfortable, comfortable enough to be yourself, that's the seed that you're planting. That's the foundation, the energy behind what you're doing. I feel comfortable enough to be myself. What do you get? More comfortable. Okay, so it works energetically, alignment speaking. But I'm also going to talk about action. Okay, so here's, here's a really ridiculous story of how a guy totally fell in love with me just by me being my true unadulterated self. <laughs> <laughs> so this person, I actually ended up married with this person and this is the father of my child, by the way. So that's how well this worked. And when I was doing this, I was not trying to get this person to like me or fall in love with me or be my husband or anything like that. But the fact that that did happen, it's a really good example because that's probably the reason why this person ended up liking me so incredibly much is because I wasn't trying to get him for keeps or anything. I didn't even care what he thought about me. That's why he liked me, okay? Because I did not care. I was just my happy-go-lucky, normal, natural, unadulterated self with him. But here's what I did, okay? One day, I, we would hang out. We were friends, okay? We would hang out. We're watching a movie on a bed, on my bed. And we were eating pizza and drinking and la we would always laugh when we were together. Laugh, laugh, laugh because nobody cared. It was just all fun and games. And I took a drink. I was like eating over a pizza box. And I was eating pizza over this pizza box. I was drinking. And he said something and it was funny. And I literally, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this. I literally spit my water into the pizza box that I was eating out of, okay? 
and I just I couldn't help myself I was laughing so I spit my water and I was laughing over the pizza box it was the most ridiculous thing thank God that we were all we were just about done eating as I'm recovering and, and laughing and trying to figure out what the hell to do with myself now that I've spit water into this pizza box he turns to me and says, that's the coolest thing I think I've ever seen you do. And imagine my surprise when I'm like, what? <laughs> that's the coolest thing you've ever seen me do? Laugh uncontrollably and spit all of my water into a pizza box like a moron? <laughs> okay, so that's one example. Now, another example is a lot of you guys know Mo, okay, um, who is still in my life. I act really ridiculously with him because again, I don't really care <laughs> what he thinks. <laughs> so you can imagine how that goes. He just keeps liking me, right? He just keeps coming around and being awesome. I do all kinds of ridiculous things when Mo is around. He knows that he can expect me to be really crazy, really ridiculous, off, and just come up with like the most random stuff. You know, I can say the most random things to him and he's like, oh God, here we go. <laughs> but he loves it, you know? I don't have a particular example when it comes to Mo, but I can, he laughs every time when I do something ridiculous or maybe I will, I, I can't even tell you guys, but I do stupid stuff, you know? Like funny or fun, hilarious, ridiculous stuff and he just laughs every time and like every time it's like in his mind he might say it he might say like oh you know like I love that about you or that's what I love about you or like that's my girl or like whatever but this is what he loves about me that I'm able to be completely purely unadulterated completely my normal ridiculous self my f the fullest expression of myself with him in a ridiculous way that is super far-fetched he loves it so both of these examples are examples of me being so uncensored to the extreme okay that and and i'll tell you why this makes sense because that takes a lot of confidence okay now the whole pizza box situation i didn't do that on purpose obviously but i mean i guess i i did it and i held it together and i was like well <laughs> the point is when you're completely happy uninhibited and confident with a guy it is so awe inspiring to them every man and every person craves beauty and the beauty of being yourself and that's what men like to connect with with a woman but also energetically speaking when you're happy and confident and uninhibited then you attract more to be happy and confident and uninhibited about you're attracting everything that you want what's really magnetic about it is almost no one can do that who is that confident that it's like I don't care I'm just gonna whatever in front of the only thing that I don't do in front of anyone even uh, and I think never ever ever do this I'm not talking about being disgusting is what I'm trying to say I'm not talking about that I, a lot of you are gonna make comments and say I do that and it the person still loves me or whatever I'm not teaching that what I'm saying is being yourself in nice ways in fun ways in silly ways in ridiculous ways in far-fetched ways but in safe ways and in nice ways and in not disgusting ways be yourself to the oomph degree do what you need to do and have fun with it when you're genuinely sincerely being yourself and the more that you can really do that with them, the more that you can basically demonstrate your own security. And at the same time, it's fun. And at the same time, it's actually, this sort of thing can really cause like a dopamine response because it's like a novel experience. And every time that you're gonna do it, it's gonna be a novel experience. Every time that I do something ridiculous with Mo, it's still a novel experience because each time it's something new, it's something different, you know? It's something, that you don't normally see day to day. So that dopamine is very, very powerful. 
So we know the energetic reason for it. We know the psychological, what happens with your chemistry, and we know the action. This really works if you want to make a guy fall in love with you. A lot of women, when they like a guy, they get all stiff, they get all stale. You're going to do the opposite. You're going to be more bubbly, more charismatic, more rambunctious, and more fun, more cool, uncensored. If you're still watching, it means that you like the video, so make sure that you click the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button, click all to receive all notifications. If you want to join my group, those links are below. I also have coaching and courses. Here is a playlist if you want to learn more about making your man fall desperately in love with you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. That's easy.